Yo, what's up, guys? It's the MMA Analyst here to give you my recap for UFC 147. All right, first things first, thank you. Thank you to the MMA gods for Brazilian fighters and Rich Franklin. And that's what I'm going to talk about first is Rich Franklin. Um, Man, for a long time, I was pretty much anti any poster boys from the UFC. And uh, I, I pretty much don't think I've ever liked a UFC poster boy while they were the poster boy and just kind of maybe learn to respect them afterwards. Rich Franklin earned my respect a few fights back, like way after probably I should have. But, um, you know, he was just to me a, a, another one of these dudes that the UFC was hyping up because he looked like he would be a good guy to be on a poster and talked well and displayed decent mixed martial arts skills. That's what I thought, right? Anyways, but at the end of the day, man, I realized, I think it was probably, uh, I think it was, it was definitely before the Chuck Liddell fight, but it was basically like, you know, Rich Franklin's that dude, you know, like, no, Vandalay Silva, we already know, you know what I mean? He's a warrior, all that craziness, but, you know, R Rich Franklin, like, he's only fought tough dudes, like, that's it. For a while, you know, Vanderlei Silva and, and a lot of people that fight Vanderlei Silva, like you got a lot of guys, like you know, the kind of guys they put against Vanderlei Silva are guys who aren't afraid of Vanderlei Silva. But there's a lot of guys who just run out there, but they gotta take him to the ground. I don't want to get hit by Vanderlei. Yeah, you know, let me just be safe. We know all about safeness and safety. Anyways, you know, uh, you know, Forrest Griffin, former champ at light heavyweight, Chuck Liddell, former champ, you know, broke his hand, knocked him out, Vitor Belfort, you know, some of these fights he's outmatched, you know, in the fight against Vitor Belfort, he's not going to win that fight, the fight against Dan Henderson's a very tough fight, Anderson Silva, clearly a very tough fight, but I mean, he, you know, all throughout his career, he's one of these only guys, you know, at a certain point where it's like he wasn't really fighting cans for, you know, anymore. And even early in his career, fought like the tough guys, like the divisions were weaker at the time. So, I mean, he really was that dude. And, you know, I look back and I couldn't stand him and I just wanted anybody to beat him and all that whatever stuff. But I mean, same thing happened with all the guys. Matt Hughes, I, you know, I, you know, I respect Matt Hughes. Like when he was, you know, back in the day, whatever, I couldn't stand him. But, you know, when he... Got the nice little bulldog choke or whatever on Almeida. And just, you know, it just it is what it is. You know, those guys, most of those two were two guys I couldn't stand. But, like, when it comes down to it, same thing with Randy Couture. Like, these guys are the dudes, man. So, much respect to Rich Franklin and, you know, the poster boys of, like, the back-in-the-day UFCs. You know, respect to the poster boys from, like, 2004 in the UFC. You know, the guys that were in the UFC doing their thing while Vandalay was in Pride doing his thing. Because um, I'll be damned if I don't even know who tomorrow's poster boys are. But, uh, man, you know, like I'm glad we got Anderson Silva, who's not necessarily a poster boy. He's just the best fighter in the world. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, and you know, John Jones, you know, all right, you know, he's good, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, the point is though, obviously what's happening right now in mixed martial arts in general is not what was happening back then. And I know it's a transition and people are getting better and people are learning more and they got to win. Um, but you know, main events like this where really I looked at the card and I said, the only fight I'm really not that interested in is the main event because, you know, it's Rich Franklin against uh, Vanderlei Silva, you know, 37 against fight years, 188. So, but at the end of the day, you know, these guys deliver and that's what, you know, Rich Franklin does. That's what Vanderlei Silva does. Th those guys deliver. So mad respect for just still being fighters and like, you know, just doing what you do and like being classy about it too. So, you know, the, there's my, my maybe first ever ode to, you know, 
the old class, not the oldest class, but you know, the last class of of the UFC. Um, you know, I'm 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 probably gonna root for Rich Franklin at some point in the near future. I don't have I done that before? Against Forrest, yeah, yeah, and against Chuck. But that's because they were poster boys that I couldn't stand even more. Anyways, uh, overall, the good night of fights. The main event, man, Rich Franklin went through what nobody else has gone through. And that was like a good solid 60 seconds of a Vanderlei Silva, you know, Mortal Kombat. Like crazy. Uh, yeah, it's not the same as the like five-year-ago version, but don't matter, man. Vanderlei on you, trying to get you, and yes, the time, you know. But still, most people wouldn't have made it to the bell anyways. They would have been gone at the 30-second mark. So, you know, um, man, mad respect to Rich Franklin. Mad respect to Vanderlei Silva. Uh, you know, what should he do? Uh, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know what you want. You know, uh, you know the dude is who he is. He's done, you know, it's, you know, um... It is what it is. He's been fighting forever. You know, like 2004, his prime was almost 10 years ago. That Mirko Krokop head kick that kind of changed everything for him, that was 2006. His lost spinning back fist to Dan Henderson, 2007. Like, he's fighting so far past his prime that is outrageous. And he's still entertaining and all that stuff. He absolutely is North America's Kazushi Sakuraba. Good lord! Uh, but let's not get it, let it go that far, Vanderlei. At some point, you do have to stop fighting. Um, I'm pretty sure, maybe, probably would have retired if he would have lost this fight, uh, but he didn't. Anyways, what else? Good win for Rich Franklin. Uh, Cesar Ferreira versus Sergio Marias. Yo, you know, mad respect to Marias for, uh, for just being a warrior. You know, like, this is what I was talking about. You know, like, Marias, what could he have done? He could have ran around for, you know, 15 minutes. He could have crumpled under pressure. He could have realized that I can't get this dude to the ground, so I'm going to flop on my back. He could have done, he could have done... A lot of other things, and a lot of them would have made sense for a human to do, just, you know, just self-preservation tactics. But no, he fought, and he pushed uh, Ferreira back, and he dropped him, and he, and he or he stumbled, and he hurt him. He, he almost won the fight. Like, I mean, you know, mad, mad, mad props to Marias for, for, for turning that into an amazing fight. I mean, at the end of the day, is Dana going to give the two main, you know, the, the main event and then that, the co-main event, both fight of the nights? He should. We'll find out if he does. I don't know. I just record this right away. So the, the press conference is happening right now, and I watch it after I'm done. By the way, Vanderlei Silva absolutely was gassed after he almost finished Rich Franklin. They kept talking about it. Is he? Is he? Maybe? Is he? Yeah, yeah. He's he's gassed. Uh, he was done. He took the third round totally off. He said, I'm not even fighting this round. I'm just going to try and get some energy back because I'm done. Anyways, solid win uh, for for uh, uh, for Cesar. Um, you know, good work. Good work. Um, where do I see him in the UFC? Yeah, I don't really see him being a champ anytime soon. Probably anytime at all. But it is what it is. You know, you did your thing. Uh, Bezeha, Hani Bezeha against uh, Pepe. Um, you did your thing, Bezeha. I mean, it was uh, it was pretty ugly on Pepe's part in many areas, including his getting upset at the end. But whatever, you know, it was a good fight. In my opinion. So, you know, good job. Fabrizio Verdum, continuing on your beast mode status. Absolutely tooling Mike Russell. I think I'm going to retire any comments about the Mike Russell uh, hammer fist. Uh, I think it's just like you can talk about that as long as he's on like a 15 fight winning streak. But then as soon as he finally loses, it's like, all right, all right. I'm going to retire that, you know. Um, I admit you know, for those people who might not have got the joke, I was absolutely being sarcastic with a straight face. 
about um, Mike Russell's deadly hammer fist. That was the softest punch in the history of mankind. Uh, well, no. I'm sure uh, Clay Guida's thrown softer punches. But, um, yeah, and it was it was like the greatest comeback of the year, I think. It was an amazing comeback. And mad props to Mike Russell, so there you go. Uh, no reason to make fun of a dude or joke on him you know, while he's down, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, man, for Bruce River, Doom continues to improve. Good win. He was supposed to win this fight. Mike Russell is not really on his level. Um, but you know how things work with this guy's supposed to win and this guy's a better fighter and then something crazy happens, right? Right. So for Bree Silver Doom, you did your thing and your thing was what you're supposed to do and that should get some points. Yuri Alcantara takes a loss to our Harkin, uh, uh, sorry, Harkin Diaz. A uh, good win for Diaz. Alcantara just, um, he was too content to be on his back and just to stay on his back and in the UFC, you got to get back to your feet. If you're not going to win the fight with the submission on your back, you're not going to win the fight. So basically, get back to your feet. That's basically that. Uh, Rodrigo Dam, uh, solid win. Uh, Rodrigo Dam, you know, solid win. Um, wow, did Delson Heleno get the beat down? Delson Heleno got the beat down. Uh, good win for Francisco. Damn. Towson. Ooh. Uh Hugo Viano got the uh, you know, nice little win. Um, Perpetuo. Nice, nice. Vinicius. What, is, what happened in that fight? Oh, yeah. Nice little comeback from behind. Nice, nice. And then last fight was uh, the win for Milton Vieira over Felipe Arantes. So, there you go. Overall, good night of fights like it was supposed to be. I mean, we're in Brazil with a bunch of Brazilians fighting. It's going to be a good night of fights. Whether it's the most uh, technical or not, who knows, right? But um, yeah, it's not going to disappoint. And yeah, again, mad respect to both Rich Franklin and Vanderlei Silva. There you go. Will I be talking about F- Fedor's retirement? Yes. Uh, you know, on the podcast. Will I be talking about some other stuff that was happening? Yes. What was the other stuff? There was something else too. I'm going to talk about it though. MMA, it's important. 